Hey guys, Augie from TNVC here. Today we're going to talk about a system that uh, everybody is generally probably pretty aware of, uh, but that, that not as many people know as much about or as much as they think they know about. Um, and that is the L3 Harris Binocular Night Vision Device, or BNVD, uh, or as it's more commonly known by its uh, military designation, the PVS-31 Alpha. There are a couple of different variants of uh, of the PVS-31. There's, there's, uh, there's the standard AN PVS-31, there's a Bravo, there's a Charlie, uh, and then there is a Delta, uh, the PVS-31D, which is a completely different type of goggle system that uses completely different types of tubes and, and is manufactured by a different company. The PVS-31, without any kind of suffix, uh, is generally understood to be a green phosphor version. Starting with the PVS-31 Alpha is when you start getting uh, when you start getting the white phosphor versions. The the L3 Harris BNVDs that we have, um, you know, they are L3 Harris contract BNVDs. They are the same part number, they are the same goggle that is issued to US SOCOM. That particular part number, depending on who the specific customer is, uh, could get designated as a PVS-31 Alpha, a PVS-31 Bravo, a PVS-31 Charlie. The commercial name of the product is the BNVD. Now to add a little bit more confusion to that, there are some other manufacturers out there that have kind of also adopted the acronym BNVD for various different commercial goggles. Uh, BNVD is, is kind of a relatively generic uh, acronym for binocular night vision device. The L3 Harris BNVD is what won the, uh, the US SOCOM BNVD tender. Said a lot of companies have continued to use that, that generic acronym to, uh, you know, to market their, their commercial products. So enough about the background and the nomenclature and all that nerd stuff. Got it. In terms of the goggles themselves, you know the PVS the the, the PVS thirty one Alpha the the L three Harris BNVD um, is a lightweight uh, dual tube binocular night vision goggle. Um, it is an articulating system, so as you can see, uh, you adjust the interpupillary distance by rotating the pods up into the side, and so you can adjust them from very close uh, to match your individual interpupillary distance. Kind of the basic model that we have on the shelves is the A48 model. And the A48 model has, has L3 Harris unfilmed white phosphor mil-spec image intensifiers. So that's the, they're extremely high quality unfilmed tubes. They have a minimum figure of merit, which is the signal to noise multiplied by the center resolution of uh, 2376. So that's you know one of the highest guaranteed minimum specs that you can get in a commercially available system. That doesn't necessarily mean that you can't get that performance uh, out of a different type of system, but in terms of a guaranteed minimum, it's probably one of the highest out there. Now that being said, you know that 2376 figure of merit uh, is is still just a minimum spec, um, and for the uh, A48. BNVDs, there is no maximum limit. As with anything else, you know, you're going to see very few of these systems uh, that are at the minimum specification. And then, of course, the standard uh, disclaimer that uh, figure of merit, that when you're talking about evaluating image intensifier performance and goggle performance, figure of merit, the FOM isn't everything. You can have all the FOMs. And, and you can still have a, a better tube that's got a lower FOM, depending on some of the other uh, specs. We've got plenty of other videos, and, and as, do, uh, as do a lot of our friends and partners, have, have a lot of videos talking about the different types of specs. But one way or another, that's the way that L3 Harris classifies these systems. The BNVD is well known is popular because it is the official US SOCOM NVG. You know, so this is what all your Rangers, all your SEALs, all your Green Berets uh, are issued. You know, the, the exact same contract extensions, the exact same type of systems. But beyond being, you know, US SOCOM issued, what are the features of the L3 Harris BNVD? The main thing that sets the L3 Harris BNVD apart from a lot of other commercial goggles is the fact that it uses uh, proprietary optics. 
So you can see that the objective lenses uh, look quite a bit different than uh, the objective lenses on PVS-14s or any kind of commercial system that utilizes uh, PVS-14 optic architectures. As far as the eyepieces go, you can see that they do not have any diopter adjustments at all. People's first reaction to that is, well, if it doesn't have diopter adjustments, can I properly focus it to my eye? By not using standard PVS-14 style optics, which are common on, on pretty much any system out there, whether it's the uh, DTNVS, whether it's the RNVG, whether it's the Artemis, or, or, or you know any of the other systems that are out there, because of the specialized lens assemblies that the PVS-31 uses, um, it's able to be significantly lighter than, than most commercial systems. Obviously, removing the diopter adjustment housing uh, allows you to cut a lot of weight. And they actually use uh, a specialized hybrid lightweight lenses. And th these are also the same lens, these are the same objective lenses that are used on the GPNVG. The PVS 31 actually has these removable threaded diopter inserts. The factory diopter insert is, is a minus uh, 0.50. Um, which is really optimized for, for about the 95th percentile of users. So 95% of users are going to be able to use this negative 0.50 diopter uh, that comes factory on the PVS-31. If you are part of that 5% who cannot use that, there are diopter adjustment kits that are available. So these obviously are removable and there are threaded sets and, and you know, for, for some people, if you have you know, two very different eyes, you can even put different diopter adjustments on each lens. These replacement diopter assemblies aren't inexpensive, but they are in fact available. So some of the other features of the L3 Harris BNVD, you know, again, as I said, it is an articulating style goggle. Benefits of an articulating goggle system is that, you know, Traditionally, with, with any kind of NVG, when you're not using them, you have to stow them up on your helmet like this. So you can see it, it adds a lot of height to stow these goggles. With an articulating system, A, you can leave the mount in the deployed position like this, and you can simply rotate the tubes up so that you can clear your field of view uh, without having to raise the goggles and raise the mount entirely. Um, so if you just want to be able to look under them, you can. Or if you do want to stow them, you can fold them a little bit flatter and you can kind of redirect the center of gravity of those goggles so, so that it's not as heavy so far forward. You don't have that rhino situation going out with the, with, with the device uh, all the way at the end of this long arm putting more strain on your neck. And it also has built-in uh, IPD adjustment stops. So these little knobs on the side actually allow you to set your interpupillary distance so that once you've gotten them adjusted for, for where you want them in front of your eyes, even if you flip them up, when you flip them back down, you're not going to have to readjust them again they'll come right back to the same place using these IPD adjustments. Now, unlike a lot of common night vision devices out there, the PVS-31 BNVD also lacks any kind of onboard IR illuminator. So something like the PVS-14 or the DTNVS or the Artemis or the RNVG, they all have built-in IR illuminators. You know, that's something that's, that's been required for quite some time uh, by the military, who at the end of the day originated most of these designs. BNVD was designed for US SOCOM based on US SOCOM requirements. And you know, one of the things that they determined is that for their uses, they very rarely used the onboard IR illuminators. So in order to save as much weight as possible, they deleted that, that onboard IR illuminator capability. Now, if you'll notice, a lot of guys that use uh, BNVDs or even guys that use different goggles will have some sort of supplementary IR illumination mounted to their helmets, which is how you can get away with not having an onboard IR illuminator on the goggle itself. The L3 BNVD is powered by a single AA battery, and you can see the battery slot in here. Now, the fact that it uses a single AA battery does mean that it's got a little bit more limited battery life than a lot of systems that use um, that use CR123 batteries uh, or single tube systems like the PVS14. However, in order to account for that, 
the L3 Harris BNVD has um, an external power connection port so that you can actually use an external battery pack and connect it to the system to get, you know, 50 plus hours of battery life out of the system. This is the L3 Harris cold weather battery pack. Um, you know, obviously it's so called because a lot of batteries uh, start to, to lose longevity, performance longevity when they get colder. So this cold weather battery pack holds four AA batteries. These cold weather battery packs do come standard with the A48 um, BNVD kit from TNVC. Uh, as well as the 25 inch BNVD cable uh, with these right angle connectors that, that allow you to connect it to the goggle. And the cold weather battery pack, of course, fits in our TNVC Mohawk Mark III. Another feature that the uh, L3 Harris BNVD has that, that a lot of other commercial goggles lack is it, it also has a uh, centralized manual gain adjustment. And what that, all, all that really means is that you, like a PVS-14, you can adjust the gain of the tubes so that your image can get brighter or darker depending on ambient lighting conditions or if you're wanting to flip one side up and use the goggle kind of like a monocular and you want to be able to equalize your natural vision to the other tube. A lot of systems out there to include, you know, the, the military ANVIS systems, the GPNVGs, the DTNVS, the RNVG, you know, will not have a manual gain control. For some people, it's more important than others. Being honest, I rarely, if ever, touch the manual gain control. When I'm using these goggles, I pretty much crank them up. I want to be able to have as much detection capability as possible, and generally speaking, that requires cranking the gain up as much as possible, because even if you're in like mixed lighting conditions where there's a lot of ambient light, you might need to be looking into structures, you know, through windows, into dark alleyways, or, or into basements or something like that, you want to have as much gain as possible. That being said, you know, some people uh, like to have a slightly darker image. It's more comfortable for their eyes. They feel that it's more comfortable uh, in prolonged use or something like that. Or if you're going out, you know, and you're in a rural area with a full moon or something like that, or, or if you're around a lot of snow, some guys like to be able to, to adjust that, that manual gain and crank it down a little bit. So the PVS-31 BNVD, allows you that capability. Now, another feature that the uh, L3 Harris BNVD has that I can't really show you um, is that in addition to the standard auto gating and, and, and bright light cutoffs and other protective measures that the image intensifier tubes have on most other goggles, the BNVD also has a, a flashbang protection circuit. It does pretty much what the name indicates. If you have any sudden high intensity light, the, the BNVD will shut itself off automatically. So if you happen to be looking at a flashbang for some reason, you're caught in the wrong place at the wrong time, you will not damage your image intensifier tubes. And that's something that, that you know the L3 Harris systems have standard to the housing not necessarily to the image intensifier tubes. Again, most image intensifier tubes and most systems do have some sort of highlight protection, but the L3 Harris BNVD, you know, being that it is primarily intended for, for you know, US Special Operations Forces, for other allied Special Operations Forces, has that extra layer of protection from, from high intensity flashes. So that is the L3 Harris BNVD, better known as the PVS-31 or the PVS-31 Alpha. It's a great goggle system. Uh, it's got a lot of interesting features. Um, it'll make you feel like a Navy SEAL because it's US SOCOM issued. Hopefully you guys have found this video informational uh, and, and maybe learned something that you didn't know about the, the PVS-31, whether that's you know nomenclature and nerd stuff or whether it's something about the features of the device. Available now from TNVC.com or from any one of our dealers.